You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Single Ladies After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Single Ladies After Show. Yeah! Future! What up, y'all? What up? What up, everybody? Forget what you heard. This ain't the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. We ain't messing around with that stuff. It's time for single ladies. Welcome once again. It's your boy Stefan in the building. Um, I'm excited, man. I like that future track. Thank you, Roya. Shout out to Roya and back on the ones and twos, You're and uh, doing her thing back there. So sweet. You're just being honest. I'm just being honest today. Today, we just being honest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Welcome to Single Ladies, Episode 7. Let's introduce ourselves. Y'all already know who I am. These lovely ladies are... I'm Jess Meza. If you've been watching a few of the episodes, you've seen a lot of my personality. Yeah. <laughs> you can catch me on Twitter at M-S-J-E-S-M-E-Z-A, Miss Jess Meza, and then Instagram is Jess Meza. And I am Michelle Renee. I'm actually filling in for tonight's show. So. Welcome, hey. Michelle. Hey. Yeah, thanks for having me. So yeah, good times, I'm ready good to times. Get into it. Let's get into it. Well, there was a couple twists and turns right off the bat in this episode, which I'm excited about, and I'm sure you guys are too. Uh, but let's let's talk about the love triangle that's going on between Terrence, Raquel, and now enter Miss Erica. Erica, I was like, Terrence got a girlfriend all this time. She she's missed Tuesday, Thursday, and sometimes Friday. I ain't even want to see you just jump right into that. Okay. Well, okay. So how, I mean, well, if they watched it, then they know what happened. You, if you watched okay. it, you know what happened. Erica said, you know, it, it looked as though she was his girlfriend. They were they were kissing, making out. They did the whole thing. Mm, she was doing too other. much though. Like if that if if you're in a relationship and that's your girl, that's your man. Like you know, you don't got to do that much. And she was doing extra to the point that Keisha was even like. She doing too much. Mm -hmm. That's a problem, though. If that's your man, shouldn't you be doing all these extra things, treating him like a king? I or mean, yeah, but you don't gotta be like or... I don't know. Maybe to each his own. I'm not big on PDA. Like, so the the feeding was over the limit. I mean, feeding each other every minute she could, kissing him on the lips to be like, "This is my man. This is mm -hmm. my man." And those I, are some juicy kisses this too. This my man. You yeah. Know? Okay, so if a girl's marking her territory as much as she is, then that's a little... It's a little then it, too much. It, it may be her man, but it would be someone that's very insecure. Right. I, I mean, ah. I don't, yeah, in that situation in real life, I think if a female really acted like that with someone she was dating, then she would be insecure or trying to prove that that's her territory, yeah. as is the case here. I, I like the affection, though. I was I really like a girl, you know, if I'm dating a girl, she all over me, kissing okay, me and dating. stuff. Okay, but dating. Okay, here and there. But I don't know. It's just too much. Sometimes. A little too much. Yeah, well, maybe. anyway. If and it, it's inappropriate for the setting. Like, sure. Other people watch it. We're at a fashion it. show. Yeah. This is his business. Like, he, There's other making, models in the right. room. Yeah, it's, it They're makes like, others uncomfortable. PDA, too much PDA. <laughs> I went to Catholic school, so we weren't allowed to have PDA. So, so now you were deprived, like, yeah. <laughs> hey, you ladies out there, you want to holler, Stefan, you need to have PDA. Get up PDA. on your PDA game, okay? <laughs> yeah, we were deprived. And as soon as I got to college, I was like, let's go crazy. <laughs> Seriously, because I had to make up for all the years. Anyway, so. He's just being honest. <laughs> I'm just being honest today. <laughs> uh, so Erica turns out she's not the girlfriend, which you know they kind of led us. That was really good how they did it, though. Yeah, it was. They kind of they kind of baited us into that whole thing, and uh, not just us. Raquel was kind of thrown off. Well, she, I, she was excited though when she was like, "Oh, you're not his girl." Yeah. Oh, I still have a chance. So you mentioned the Tuesday, Thursday, Friday girl. What as as women? Friends of benefits. As women, women. What's your feelings about being the Tuesday, maybe Thursday, Friday girl? Or have you ever been? I think the significance is the fact that if you get a weekend day, it's maybe a little bit more official. Stop it. So that's wait, why wait. she was like, oh, so you, you, for the you might be his Saturday. 
So Saturday's bigger. Because if he's hanging out with you on a Saturday versus like going out to the club or something with his friends, then you might actually be official. legit. Uh, I mean, I might know. Still I didn't be a, know be these. No, no. Okay. I I'm actually up on game. I I beg to differ though. That's why she said sometimes Friday because it's like sometimes, sometimes Friday. Yeah. Sometimes Friday. Sometimes, sometimes get she gets Friday. lucky. She gets a phone call uh -huh. like, "Hey boo, what are you <laughs> doing?" Yeah. Do you okay, but now over? we're out here. We're in LA. In LA, it's hotter to be out during the week than it is the weekend. Right. Because oh, we're okay. it's it's kind of the flip. Mm -hmm. So if you're a Tuesday, Thursday girl in LA, you're getting the good stuff. Well, they live in Atlanta, so what's what's it so, like in Atlanta? I don't know. I don't know. I guess Friday was really important because she was like, oh, the Friday. That's right. Well, I, can we just back up for a second? I yeah. never thought that she was his girlfriend. When he said she's my girl, I mm. thought he meant like she's one of my homies. Like I definitely was getting the feeling that they were sleeping with each other or whatever. But yeah, I never figured that there was an implication that she was his official girlfriend. I and just it, I was getting jump off from her. Yeah. Like someone that ah. wants to be his girlfriend. You right. felt the jump off. Yeah. And yeah. I think it's interesting that we never besides him being like oh that's my girl we never really got his take on the situation mm -hmm. what's crazy is he said um i'm gonna have one of my friends yeah and then he said this is my girl right and i was like so why that is, was kind of confusing like that? it yeah. huh. but it also i think it could have been also to kind of bait raquel and make her a little <laughs> jealous because it's like when you're a woman and you haven't been involved with the man yet but maybe you're kind of feeling him maybe you're kind of not you guys go back and forth and then you know Oh wait, he's unavailable. All of a sudden, and men do the two. You're like, yeah, what's yeah. Up? So what's up? Uh huh. Because <laughs> because you you always want what you can't have. Sure. Unfortunately, but I feel like that's kind of what he was doing too. Because he has a thing for her, but he's trying to keep it professional. Because mm -hmm. that's what she said. So you think he set this up? Well, I mean, oh, sorta, a little sorta, bit. Sorta, but he. Little I didn't bit. think he d did it deliberately, but I feel like he was like, hmm. Well. Uh, this actually might help my game yeah. with Raquel, give me a little more points because even if they don't get involved, I feel like he he definitely hurt. They both share that sexual tension. Sure. And from a man's perspective, I already know having another girl talk about how good you are, it shoots your stock through oh, the roof. That's the other thing. She, she was, was so open about yeah. it. Like, okay, first of all, if you're his jump off, okay, <laughs> and you're his Tuesdays, Thursdays, sometimes it's Friday, why yeah. are you trying to help abroad become yeah. his Saturday? Right, right, right. Like, do you do you just do this on the regular? Because she was like, Oh girl, the thing that he does with his tongue, you don't talk about how good your significant other right, or right. whatever boot thing, whoever it is, you don't talk about how good yeah. they are. Especially to a woman who you don't even know, yeah, who's fly and who works with him twenty four seven. Giving her like, I think she hmm. picked up on something though. We thought she was having a little bit of a beef type moment with Raquel. She was watching how they interacted, right? But um, I think she was really kind of feeling the vibe, and that's why she got so open, which was cool on her part. Are you talking about Erica? Erica, yeah. Okay, I think she was just trying to rub it in her face ah. and try to. You know, Man, make you're her getting think a whole like, different vibe like, than me. <laughs> look at what you're missing out on. Like I'm getting the D every week, uh. you know, two, three times a week, and you're not getting anything. But I think that that does have the adverse effect, like you said. And I mean, I don't think she's that type of girl, but I think that yeah, that yeah. would make any other girl be like, oh, well, then I want it too. Jess, that's like your Instagram. You like this could be us, but you playing? Oh man, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. this could be us, but you buy bitches Chipotle. <laughs> what is going on? This could be us. <laughs> this we, we could be booed up, but yeah. you frightened too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I guess the grand finale to that whole thing is um, the big kiss. So they're having the glam walk. It's a it's the huge deal. You know, Felicia's got um, her all her clothing line and everybody involved on it and. Uh, and uh, the jewelry is about to be launched and released. And this is the big showing. And um, in the midst of that, the energy and future singing, I'm just being honest. I don't know what it was, the combination of something yeah. in the air. It was all that energy and the excitement. I think she was mm -hmm. just feeling so proud. Like, yeah. like if this if this was my dude, this was my man, like, you be, know, we coming up together. Yeah. Like, we building an empire. You, you making me think, girl, like, don't kiss me right now. I'll <laughs> be your body. You be my client. What's up? <laughs> she was oh. just feeling it. And then she was like. Boom. Mm -hmm. And she initiated, which is. She did. She, she was, like, don't know staring how. at him, like. It was kind of mm. like a snake going after yeah. his bait. Like, when should I make a uh -huh. move? You know what I, I mean? I like those lines in the jungle. It's a trip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's like, I'm about to pounce on this dude in a minute. And then it just happened. Mm -hmm. And it was awesome.
Well, I don't know. We've been waiting on it for a long time. I know y'all have. Yeah, so. we all knew it was happening. Yeah. I a, called it. I did. I called it. I was like, mm-hmm, so I'm going to go down right there. I think everybody was on top of that. I don't normally bring you food, people food, who yell at me, but. Yeah. When it started there two <laughs> episodes ago, we yeah. were like, um, something's going down right here. Yeah. Which is great. So, okay, have you girls ever initiated Kiss? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Really? I thought we okay. It's 2014. You talk if to you're a female women. and you want okay, it, okay. then go for it. I didn't know that's how it worked. No. I mean, if I'm feeling it and you know, and I'm like, hmm, kind of feels like we have a little bit of chemistry, and then I'm like getting a little close. Hmm, hmm. Let's it, could it be? I don't know. Let's see. Because I, I know for a guy, it's like um, sometimes it could be kind of. Is it is it cool? Is it is she cool? Are we there? <laughs> we brushed up on each other i don't know and so i that takes all the pressure off if y'all just say the boy let me get it well for me it has to be something that i'm really feeling like okay. or that i'm really like you've piqued my interest huh. i just won't be like hmm. making moves because i don't like just kissing anybody that's me personally um but sometimes i feel like men do kind of rush into it i've had a few men in my experience, I just kind of go for it. You're like, whoa, whoa, like, what's going on here? And you got to turn the head, like, oh, really whoa. quick to get See? that. See? You do a little yeah. you don't want A guy doesn't want that rejection, the head turn. We don't want to go in and, and it's a bad moment. Right. Mm. And then you, you kind of, you know, you screwed yourself for the rest of the whole, what? I, you're dead. The kiss is most important. So, girls, y'all start kissing dudes. <laughs> And make this easier because relationships well, are too complicated. Not just that, but men, if you're going to kiss a woman, mm. can you please know how to kiss? Okay. I think I'm we, weak. we are at 2014 <laughs> now and this, you being grown. Okay. If you 20, maybe you no. don't know how to kiss that well, but don't be over 30 years old and not know what to do with your tongue when you're kissing a woman. Okay, please. Ugh. Because the last thing, what's going to happen when you don't know how to kiss is you're not going to hear from me anymore, okay? Oh, it's Lord. done. Finito. You losing Twitter or followers. Or we'll just be friends. We'll just be cool. <laughs> you you lost like 100 Twitter followers just now. No, I should Boom. be gaining it because I'm giving you some good advice. Mm. A no, lot of women are. won't tell you. Like, the Preach. kiss is the most important thing with a woman. Yeah. If you don't get her at the kiss, she doesn't even want to see what else can happen. Between because it's indicative of, of other things. Yeah. See how she I brought her college-educated word out on us? <laughs> Listen, put your degree. I won't get graphic, but... <laughs> Put your degree up, <laughs> indicative. Shoot. No, it's important for a man, too. So ladies learn how to kiss, you know? we Didn't you in middle school start, like, practicing? No? Or is that just... Uh... No, I had my first kiss in middle school. Yeah. I was 11 years old. And it was like, it wasn't like a whole <laughs> sexual thing. It was more like cutesy mm. pr training. My, mine was eighth grade. Training ground. Training yeah. ground. Why you waited so late? Use one of them kids. I or... was a late blossomer, and <laughs> I was kind of like the ugly duckling. Like I had screwed up teeth. I was chubby. I had four eyes. Like I had these thick bottle coke glasses. Yeah, I have a picture painted right now of, of the kid from Modern Family, the boy. Though oh, that's <laughs> anyway. Like I wasn't that chubby, but I was chubby. I okay, was. I was definitely chubby. Yeah. So, well, boys didn't like me, put it that way. Get your kiss game, get game up, guys. Get yeah, your kiss yes. game up. That's what it's all about. So Hashtag kiss game. <laughs> Hashtag kiss game. I can't even say it. Kiss I game. I sound like I said kiss game. <laughs> kiss, 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 Cole. Get your kiss, kiss game up. Uh, so Terrence shuts it down just yeah. to close oh. this out. Yeah. I, that was what I loved it. And I'll tell you why I loved it. Because when they initially almost had something before, she shut it down. We need to be business partners, blah, blah, blah. He was like, I was kind of getting a vibe from you, you right, know? Right, right. And she kind of gave him the, no, no, stay, let's make boundaries. So he he respected the boundaries. Mm -hmm. Now she done jumped across the boundary that she drew, you know what I'm saying? And, and stole a kiss and fell in love a little bit. And so he drew that boundary right back. But when mm -hmm. we see the previews for next yeah. week, then he's maybe regretting his decision to draw those boundaries. Well, so at I, some point, well, stop playing. I got games. a prediction on that. So okay. we'll, we'll yeah. have to wait for that. But yeah. she, she, she's gonna do you know what women do. And I think when you're when you're a good woman, 
And when you un- value yourself and you know what you have to bring to the table, then it's like, you're like, okay, if you're interested in a person, you know, and they've set boundaries, sometimes you will set a boundary and then you realize later, okay, I really didn't mean what I said mm-hmm. because I didn't know that we had this possibility. But then when the person's like, okay, well, I didn't know that you're sending me mixed signals. So then it's like, as a woman, you got to be like, listen, I'm, there's people that are interested in me. So if uh. you don't want me, then somebody else will. And okay. they're going to step up to the plate. And that's what, yeah. that's what that's I think Raquel fun. is. This whole know. thing, this relationships thing. But she which, was sad. She was sad. hurt. That, Off top. She's you, in love, gone. You, you, said she like was being, you said she was being over dramatic. She was. <laughs> I was just like, okay, wait. Did, you guys didn't even sleep together. And but she I, was I like think you crying. can fall in love emotionally, though. She was here. She was there. Here. I, I wouldn't say emotionally. I think she got caught up because it's that whole thing of when you find someone who loves what, who loves what you love, it's that bonding. And I think mm-hmm. that is what she, she was okay. happy about, you know, and that she found somebody that, you know, is into fashion. Like and she building is. together. Yes. And they, they, okay. And I think it's not necessarily what he said, but it's how he went about doing it. It's not like they sat down and had a conversation with each other and talked it through. And he was like, well, you know, you did it, establish these boundaries. And that's why I'm a little bit confused by the kiss. He just straight up like came in there and like rained on her whole parade. Yeah. Right. She thought it was going to go left yeah. and he took it right. I mean, he so could have really sat her down for yeah. some dinner and a drink and be like, you know, girl. But like, that's not his let's character. Let's discuss. Let's discuss. You know, I happens. like you, girl. But you know his character. His character is boom, straightforward, shut it down. This is what it is. Sometimes no emotion. Sometimes you guys need to talk to us about yeah. things, okay? Oh, jeez. If we start talking to girls about everything, y'all want to talk about everything all the time. We she, women. She took a step out there to get the first kiss, and then he just knocked her yeah. down. So her pride is probably hurt. Her feelings, pride, pride everything. Heart, heart broke. She's she, looking in the mirror like, am I not that cute? Uh, <laughs> the girl's having to console her. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Her but thing. speaking of being knocked down, let's talk a little bit about April. April, <laughs> actually, uh, she just continuously gets her ass kicked by Felicia all throughout every episode that they've ever been in together. And um, this one's no different. Mm -hmm. You know, she's having to count out uh, marbles and chocolates to the number. She's having to, uh, she actually had to have her first fire in this one, which was very hard on April because she's such a sweet girl, you know? And uh, she's got that kind of Southern Belle-esque quality to her. She represents Atlanta, Southern Bells, you know. But um, yeah, Felicia's been going off on her. So April finally stands up. How'd y'all feel about April finally saying two things for herself? Well, that's I, in the beginning of the episode, that's what I, the notes I was taking. I was like, she needs to stand up to this lady. And which and you and everybody and I else. Did, I mean, I didn't know that that's how the show was going to end, but I just feel like people like Felicia they like a challenge so they want sure. someone to be like hey why don't you shut up real quick and <laughs> you know then yeah. they respond better to that so i'm glad yeah. she stood up for herself yeah you know that whole time i was thinking bye felicia <laughs> yes, definitely. you know no, i think with women though and and i've experienced this myself and actually just recently um it's like you take two women, you know, both are beautiful in their own ways. But we'll start with you guys. Okay. So let's oh, say her and I, you know, but you don't, you don't know each other's background or what each other's been through. Sure. And so if you've been in this business longer than I have, you, you will feel some sort of power about yourself and strength because you don't know everything about me. Mm-hmm. So I've, I've had women test me and try to undermine me and try to give me commands and tell me what to do almost as if they thinking, well, am I, you know, Ebonic language, punk me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm no punk. And I've had that happen recently, and that's what Felicia's character is like. She likes to punk everybody that she possibly can. Sure. Until that person will stand up. Because when I... I always stand up for myself. So when I stood up for myself in this situation, that that particular woman actually came back and apologized for speaking Mm. to me the way that she did. Very cool. And I guarantee you, if I hadn't stood up for myself, then she would continue to think she could walk over me. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think it was a great breakthrough. (laughs) Don't get all emotional. I'm so proud of you. (laughs) I am. I am totally for anti-bullying. Okay. Yeah. But, um, I think it was a breakthrough for for April's character for her to actually stand up to Felicia, and it it made Felicia respect her even yeah, more definitely. for doing that. Which is which is a huge deal with Felicia. If you can make her respect you, then or earn her respect, which 
uh, turns out she had been earning her respect. Mm-hmm. Felicia, you know, lets us into uh, how she really felt about April, which she says, I know that you've signed 6.5 clients. I know that you've done this, this. I've been watching you the whole time, which was a beautiful mentor embracing moment. And for... then she tells a story about the penis cookies. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. like, but it's kind of like you got to do what you got to do. I right through them. <laughs> yeah. It was that you got to do what you got to do. You're a female in this industry. It's male dominated Mm -hmm. and nobody's going to give you any slack. Yeah. So it was beautiful. I actually really did appreciate her advice where she was like, you always have to watch your back and Mm -hmm. watch everything around you. And I think that applies in general, especially in the entertainment industry. Yeah. There's so many people that just have this facade that's completely nothing close to who they really are. And they front like they're really your friend or like they really have your back when a lot of times people are just opportunists. Yeah, but I have to drop this in here. She she was saying talking about the dress that Omar she dropped. Anne Hathaway wore this dress. Yeah, yeah. So, and I just think that's funny that the writer threw that in there because they are really, really trying to make Felicia to the T, like Marilyn. Yeah, uh, uh, Street, they brought Meryl Streep's Meryl Streep's Meryl character Streep's, yeah. in Devil, Devil Wears, Wears Prada. Prada. They are totally trying to make her like that. I I totally so, wrote the same thing, and yeah. I'm so glad you brought it up. Yeah, yeah no. I was like out of nowhere. She's like Anne Hathaway wore this dress. <laughs> It's beautiful. I, they're really trying. I mean, they're not trying. They're doing it. Mm-hmm. She's actually being that. Uh, she's not going to be a Meryl Streep, but she's being that devil wearing Prada. Right. I like that she said, um, you know, I, what, I don't even know what purse she had. Birkin. Birkin. The Birkin purse? Yeah, she, <laughs> ladies know. Birkin. Ladies know. I, I was like, what purse? We're like Birkin. <laughs> yes, Birkin. Where? She said, uh, I, breathe, I do breathe better air. Right. I love that line. Yes. I don't know why, but I want to say it. <laughs> in my life right you're, you're gonna be at that position one day well i'm like i breathe better air. yes the air is better up here mm-hmm. yeah, i guess is what yeah. she's trying to say i don't mm-hmm. know I, I just thought it was a hot line i do breathe better air felicia mm. anyway uh who would have known co- ice cold water would be the straw that broke april's camel's <laughs> back she did everything right she you, short of being slapped in the face April was punked all around for like three, four episodes. Mm-hmm. And uh, episode seven, ice cold water. I guess once Future got on her and was like, you should know this, dummy, kind of sort of thing. She was like, uh-uh. I'll take this from Felicia for my job. But you? Auto-tune? I know, right? <laughs> yeah. And then Felicia turns around and is like, are you stupid? That I think that was it. That's what it was. That that just maybe ain't snapped. the water. The stupid. Yeah. It just She's stupid. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Y'all ever been called stupid by somebody? Mm-hmm. I ain't talking about your mama. Let's not go into that. <laughs> Therapy <laughs> and, and time is. No, we're talking you about my mama. <laughs> um, I can't. Remember. I can't recall that I have. Yeah. Huh. Uh, I, I think I might have said that. Yeah, I probably <laughs> called someone stupid. Y'all no, I know the, I have. <laughs> you realize that you guys are the bullies. Oh, uh, but, but I mean, you're the bully. Uh, like, no, uh, so the like, way yeah, the way, the way, way see, what happened was is if if I said it, it was probably in towards the opposite sex, which in that case I was gonna say can be given a pass because sometimes mm, dudes y'all be are stupid. stupid. That's messed up. Just keep it one hundred. That's messed up. I didn't say stupid. I said smart one, which was kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you okay, smart one, which yeah. just means. Uh, to to a, a guy? No, it's to a girl. Oh. On my cheerleading squad. Dang, school. girl. <laughs> cheerleader right Cheerleader, here. mean girl, ball breaker. That's Michelle. In case y'all didn't know. Uh, <laughs> speaking of ball breakers and uh, girls who possibly could have been a cheerleader, Naomi has shown back up. And um, mm. let's just get into Malcolm's twisted life malcolm's got like layers of dirt you know what i'm saying he at first it was like oh yeah you know i i I got a couple false accounts and we were like we can get over that we can get through this malcolm now it's like him and naomi have already known each other i feel like they may have already boned at some point they definitely have this line don't flatter yourself you weren't that hard to forget Mm. Well, and then when the he room. when he flips her around, yeah. checking for her wire, she goes, "Oh, you so do you do remember, remember me. me. You do remember me from the back." Okay. Yeah. That's oh. that was they a definite. Sense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know you remember what this felt like, type thing. So Malcolm is, uh, I mean, I thought Frank's jewels was like this, you know, uh, top notch, you know, above board, 
Frank's Jewels is like they got they steal jewelry. They 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 got fake account. This is just a it's a mess. Yeah. It's literally a mess. So uh, she start she spilled the beans on the fact that she used to steal diamonds for him. I don't know what they were getting into, but um, there's a lot going on with that whole Malcolm and well, Naomi, Naomi situation. Naomi and Malcolm definitely had a romance and fell for each other. And then Naomi, being an opportunist, wanted to, you know, find a way out. Okay. Probably had felt like there was nothing else that she could do in her life and decided to go for Malcolm's dad. <laughs> and then she married Malcolm's dad. Which means she probably had to sleep with Malcolm's dad. Yeah, so, so she slept with her stepbrother. She uh, kept stepbrother, stepbrother well, dad. Her son. No, her I mean, son. her son, her son. Hey, stepson. Son. Yeah, but, and but and she, she tried to bone Terrence at one point. So she wanted to get the whole family. I got to knock them all down. She's just trying to keep him in the family. I'm just man, being honest. Real housewives of single ladies. Yeah, man. Anyway, yeah. So here's Malcolm. He's uh, he Malcolm don't he can't even. I think he feels finally like. This is all about to crash before my face. He's looking at the empire like, Keisha, you don't understand. The two lies I told you, there's four more to go with those lies. So you really don't get it. This is all about to go down. And um, I I love that Keisha was that strong tower woman, Mm -hmm. that backbone. You know, they say it's the it's the neck that turns the head. The man is the head of the household, but the neck turns the head. Oh, are we getting into scripture right now? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <clears throat> that Always. would be in what book? <laughs> uh, so <laughs> she she was one. that neck. <laughs> I've never heard that. <laughs> you got to go to church, all right? <gasps> at least Shay. one Sunday out of the... Not Easter. Don't go on Easter. Go. Easter is just, yeah. Resurrection the. Sunday. Excuse me. <laughs> And it's the longest Sunday of yes. all. You like, oh my God, <laughs> Jesus gonna come back he is today? To play me. He is trying to play me. We had to talk about church before. The I know, show no, I'm just it. kidding. Michelle's a good Praise girl. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure y'all guys is following her on a, Twitter. I'm a good girl, you know it. Uh oh. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> to bring him. Yeah. I really do like that though. She was she was holding her man down. She did. That's the epitome of a woman right there. She was lifting her man up when her spirit was down. No, boo, I got you. She didn't you take no lying. for an answer. You're a lion, and you you always solve this. I believe in you. No, I no. You go take your fine ass in there and put on that tux, cause you coming. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and sing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I loved it. No, yeah. yeah. That yeah, that was awesome, and that that gave him the. Kind of that fueled him to keep going. He went to the um, mm-hmm. to the fashion show, which is Glamwalk, and and uh, he was actually impressed. He was. Mm-hmm. He was actually impressed. And proud. And proud. Of his brother. Mm-hmm. And he started off with that same bum attitude about Terrence, like, oh, what's he gonna do? He mess around with some jewelry and do some crap. Some and, ghetto jewelry designs. Yeah, Malcolm, Already stop hating. Already knocking him out, knocking him down. Stop hating. And I got some predictions on that. Just, just saying. But uh, real quick, as we shut that on down, the uh, this guy Sean really has a hard on for Malcolm though. He's he's going to the uh, assistant district attorney, who doesn't look like the assistant district attorney, mm-hmm. but uh, she does on this show, and uh, <laughs> he's investigating. He's going to what what is with Malcolm's little uh, what is it Eden Gems? He, I thought Eden Gems is gonna have some thugs in there. Those <laughs> thugs tatted up, and dude's like, hey, you got some jewelry. Yeah, I got some. Here, here's some diamonds right here. I was like, dude, did he just pull the diamonds straight out? Can there be like a password or something? Or, or something. There ain't even a lock on the door. But then, uh, but then old dude from the back peeking, open the door. <laughs> you know we selling drugs back here. <laughs> Don't let them in the back. Like that was so I was odd. like, what's happening right and now? And then he told the, the guy, like Sean, Everything. really quickly. Like, are there no cameras in there? Yeah. If you're doing some illegal stuff, you got cameras in the building, and you uh, just hold on yourself because you're mm-hmm. snitching. You're Forget snitching. a camera. Now you're a snitch. Where is your gun? So he'll be dead next episode. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, I'm like, where is your skin. gun? Dude, if a dude starts selling out and, and saying something, don't you go underneath And just the... take a picture of him. Yeah. I, so what? I work here. And... He's like, I'm going to Facebook you if you don't tell me all of <laughs> You you gonna be on Instagram? I'm gonna like all I your swear. pictures on Instagram. Mm-hmm. If you don't tell me what's really going on, uh uh, it's Malcolm Franks. This is all <laughs> illegal, and uh uh, I was like, dude, give him the passcode to the safe. I know it was bad. My goodness, ah. Anyway, well, 
those are our topics. Let's get into some predictions. Can we? Shall we? Now, you're after Buzz TV predictions. I got a ton of stuff, so I'm gonna let y'all say anything you want to say, or I can just start. You can start. Well, whatever, whatever you want to do, boo. <laughs> See, I like when you call me boo. I feel like I'm in charge when you call me boo. Mm, 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 you're mm. the head. Oh, um, or whatever. <laughs> We're going to have Bible study next, Later, okay. <laughs> next Wednesday. No, I'm kidding. Um, I definitely, definitely, de wait, what were we talking about earlier? I forgot. I definitely, definitely feel like Omar mm -hmm. is not going to take the job. I don't think he's going to leave indulgence as much as this could be kind of his dream job. I think he's living his dream with his friends, people that support him, people that love him, and I don't think he's going to go with Felicia, the evil dragon. I think he's going to go, but I think he's going to be miserable. And come back. Yeah. Come back. I, I, I agree. I think he, he feels like this is going to be an opportunity for him of a lifetime. And, uh, <laughs> quote unquote. And uh, he's going to hate it because she's Felicia. Yeah. And then, okay. Uh, and then he'll come back and, and just be so open to Raquel and, and hug her and say, yeah. I've missed you. Uh, I think he may start to get like some pub as a designer. And get his own fashion line because going of on. that dress. Custom but designs, I don't think yeah. he's gonna leave Raquel because he won't leave the nest. Um, I think Malcolm is going to be in a great deal of trouble, as he's already said. There's a storm coming, but I think um, the way this whole thing is gonna unfold, Naomi and, and Keisha are gonna fight. Oh, like yeah. physically, especially when Keisha gets that that uh, instinct oh. that Naomi has been with her man. Ooh, and like I said before, this is going to open the door for Keisha. Sean will make his comeback to get Keisha. Sean, the lawyer and mm -hmm. Keisha used to date. He going to get her back. I don't think he's going to. Keisha gonna is going to stay by Malcolm's side. No. Yes. Yes. After that whole. Strong, I gotta strong be strong for man. my man thing. Yeah, I'm she, not she's, buying she's it. She's gonna hold it down. She may get a little distracted uh, when she finds out that Malcolm lied to her and didn't tell her the truth about Naomi. She's gonna be upset. Yeah, and she'll probably you know give him the cold shoulder or whatnot. But in the long run, she's gonna stay with him, even if you know like she allows Sean to distract her. I don't think she's gonna fall all the way into that again. <laughs> she might entertain it just because she's upset. See, I don't like girls. Y'all be entertaining too much stuff when you're in a relationship. You guys entertain. entertain a lot, too. Mm -hmm. Let's not talk about all the likes on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Comments. Mm -hmm. What? what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Direct messages. <laughs> you know, when you follow each other on Instagram, I don't know if you guys know this, but if you hit the following button, you can see all the people you follow, all the pictures they like. Okay? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. And then you can kind of understand oh, a man's personality based on what he's liking. Based I'm on him being up at 2 saying. or 3 in the morning liking ass pictures. Mm. <laughs> what? This has nothing to do with Stefan. <laughs> Present company excluded, obviously. All right, last thing I want to say, I, I think there's going to be a, um, a huge crashing down of the wonderful, wonderful cut jewelry line that has just begun to be built after their nice glam walk and the pretty roses, there's going to be uh, kind of some, some hailstorm and, and fire coming. Okay, well, I, I'm going to agree with you on that. But in the sense that there's going to be drama because um, Raquel and Terrence are going to have drama. And huh. when two people who are supposed to be a team aren't working well together because of all this other stuff that's maybe underneath Yeah. Uh, what's going on between them, it's going to cause confliction. So that's what I think is going to happen. When when you're supposed to be a team, the two of you have to be on the same page. Mm -hmm. You have to be working together. You have to support each other. And that's the only way you can build the empire. And here, you know, she's, she's getting jealous of Monday, Tuesday, Friday girl, whatever. No, she wants to be Saturday. Yeah. So in order to be Saturday, <laughs> she's getting him jealous by hanging out with that dude Matthews, Saturday. the new guy who wants to supposedly invest in her business. Saturday? No, um, let me throw a monkey wrench into that, though, okay. which was beautiful. But we got to remember Deacon. Oh, 
Say Deacon that. just came to try to pick up Terrence. Deacon wants to talk to you. I don't want to do nothing with Deacon. Yes. That's what's going to be the cog in the wheel that now causes they, this they thing. they want a piece of it, too. Yeah. And Terrence isn't going to be honest with, with Raquel. Raquel. And then it all yes. comes crash. Well, I was going to say, I think that Terrence is going to... Oh, falls down. Because we're, we're talking about how Malcolm is kind of obviously going to get into some trouble because of his shady past. Sure. And we see Terrence kind of being the responsible like brother that has his stuff together with the whole fashion show being successful. Yeah, yeah. So maybe Terrence is going to... The flip, huh? Yeah, the flip. Okay. And Malcolm has to rely on his brother more because... I, you know, as much as I want that to together. be this this shady Deacon character, it's okay. uh, I but want that to happen though. He did he did diss him though. Yeah, he, he was him. just he like shut um, that car door. Yeah, you know what? Can't I've, run away from the streets, girl. I've had enough words with Deacon. The streets are watching at all right. times, at all times. Yes, well that's it. Thank y'all for hanging with us, single ladies. We do it every week. These are my beautiful co-hosts. Tell them where they can find you. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Michelle Renee LA. And uh, don't forget, Jess Meza, one S, and Twitter is a miss, Jess Meza, because some guy named Jesus has like two followers, so I couldn't have Jess Meza on Twitter. <laughs> I start following Jesus. <laughs> He's a really cool guy. I had to, man. I had to do it. No, you know me. I'm your boy, Stefan. Look me up on Twitter. I am more fire is what it is, or just Stefan on Instagram. I do some funny stuff. Thank y'all. Holla. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later. <laughs> <laughs>